Previously on Raider Power, Texas Tech Baseball. It's a, kind of nice to honor our past and history, going back to the throwback looks, you know, the honor of the baseball game, you know, see where we first started. Then went back to our 1926 uh, first team logo right here of the tech down the side. The tradition and the, um, you know, the length of time, you know, baseball is an American pastime. We've been doing it for 200, 210 years, whatever it is now. Uh, just it's kind of an honor uh, to, to the first unis and the traditionalist part of baseball. It's kind of a like, baseball, we're trying to get like a wool look to them. But you know, I can't, I can't believe what they would wear back there if it's actually wool. And, I don't know, it'd, be, it'd be a little different. And these young guys haven't, never, haven't, uh, have had, haven't had the uh, pleasure uh, to wear woolies. And I wore a set of woolies in high school. We had a wool, a wool set and it was, they're unreal. Now, I also played in the north, so we weren't sniveling too much because it was probably, you know, 48 and drizzling. Opportunistic, okay, opportunistic. There's opportunity right here for somebody, for you, for you, for you, for us to do what we want to do. I think the correlation between uh, real world life and baseball is tremendous. It's really, it's really tight knit. But we need to get going. We do. We need to pitch, we need to defend, and we need to hit when we're supposed to hit. Hard, at, hard outs, tough at, solid at bat, situational hit. Uh, the work, the, 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 the striving to be good, the intensity, the, the ability to push yourself when you're tired the ability to rally from something bad that happens in a game or personally or whatever, that, that's going to help you down the road. And we got 14 and we get to play. Everything else is a bonus, all right? And you got to earn that. And you'll earn it through what you do in the next 14. That's how it works. Are we good? When you eventually get a job, you know, and maybe have a family or whatever it is. So I think those things are just linked with baseball in real life. I mean, baseball is an everyday deal. The one thing about teaching the hitters is, is that every player wants to hit. Um, they all want to come into the cage and, and, and just hit. I mean, that's just the fun part of the game. So you never have to like convince them to come into the cage to hit because they all just want to hit. Um, again, it's, it's, it's the most fun. It's the most fun part about the game. So I enjoy doing it just for the simple fact of just to see little tiny things and watch kids get better and better. But now you've created it because you see it and you're like, you're thinking middle, 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 but now you're thinking, oh, there it is. I'm going to get up and get on top of it. And he does a good job of it. Look, we're in here to get better right now, right? Because if you just want to have activity, I can go back in my office and watch film, and you can stand in here and hit on the tee. You know, but if, we're, if you want me to coach, and if we're going to work, and he's good at that. Yeah. So if my body's always thinking about hitting the ball in the middle of the plate, yeah. my hands make that adjustment. One-on-one, -on -one, he's, he's really good one-on-one -on -one, uh, hitting. He helps me, and he helps Barrett, Kelby, all the people that basically struggle throughout our lineup that we need to hit, he helps all of us. And I think he does a great job of, uh, you know, knowing, knowing how to put it to all of us so that we can understand in different ways. Yeah. The ball happens to be in, my hands make the adjustment. Yeah. Oh, the ball's away, I just let it get just a hair deeper and my hands make the adjustment. Each kid's gonna be different. You know, Barrett Barnes' swing is gonna be completely different than Jermonic Magruder's. Magruder's swing is gonna be different than Stephen Hagen's. Um, you just kinda see what they have to bring to the table and you just try to mold them into what you think they should be. Oh, and that's yeah. a huge adjustment. It's 14 inches, Yeah. right? Hitting's too hard, man. Round ball, round bat. I think people take his, take his job, you know, for, for granted uh, as if, as if it's, it was easy and it's not very easy, you know. You have to know a lot about the game to be able to critique, you know, four or five people's swings, you know. And, uh, you know, we really appreciate Horner and we let him know every day we appreciate him for doing that. 
I guess working in, you know, catching in the Meyer leagues, you, you dealt with a lot of pitchers, different personalities. And so you know how to, you had to know how to talk to each one of them differently. I'd just been trying to use that as a hitting guy also. You know, each kid has a different personality. There's some kids that you can jump on and there's some kids you can't. Um, so you just got to kind of maneuver them through and mold them the way you want them to be. So you don't have to make that adjustment until you run into somebody that can do that. Biggest thing you have to be able to do is a coach, and that's why there's so many, you know, catchers that are coaches and managers, and because you have to deal with uh, numerous personalities on that pitching staff, and you have to figure out uh, what works, what does a pat work for this guy, but this guy got to get after him, and 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 that's kind of why that personality shows up behind the plate, and also as a coach or manager. Then you make the adjustment, but until somebody makes that adjustment, he just loves sharing what he knows, and we love it because you know he's got to play at a level that we've never got to play it. So we know that he knows a lot more stuff than, uh, than you know, we know. So um, what I try to do is I try to just get around him and just be a sponge, you know, to learn as much as I can. The talking baseball, that's, that's probably where you learn the most about it. Um, you know, I remember playing and, and just sitting around after games and going over different things that happened in the course of the game. Yeah. You have that ability yeah. to wait, wait, oh. There I stay on top of the ball, it's a line drive to left center. Yeah. See, my, I, I grew up doing this my whole life. My stepdad, he played a little minor league ball, and that's all he does is, that's all we used to do as growing up, you know, just talk baseball, watch the games, talk baseball, talk about what happened in my games early on in the day, you know, and, um, you know, I'm kind of used to it, so that's, that's just what I do. I sit around people and try to pick things up, you know, and uh, I think he's a great guy to pick things up from, you know. He played a couple years at AAA, just barely didn't make it to the major leagues, but that's a, that's, I, see, I think that's a good guy to, you know, listen to. This is what I got, all right? We can be, we can be selfish and we can feel sorry for ourselves. He's a knowledgeable guy, knows what he's doing. He's had a, he had a long career as a player. He played college baseball. He's played in the minor leagues. You get to choose, okay? Um can't choose, I can't choose. He, uh, he's coached, he's managed in, the, in professional baseball. He's been a hitting instructor in professional baseball. So he's well-rounded. You can't change the past, can we? No, I wouldn't want to change the past. Why? Because you learn from the past, and that's what it's all about. I get excited um, when you, when you see him do it good. Um, I get frustrated when you see it see him do it bad over and over again. But it it's more of a, I, I try to get to the kid's personality the best I can. And energetic, and get after it, and that's what you do. He's a baseball player. You just can tell that he was he was a baseball player and. You know, he wants to win just as bad as us in the dugout. He's, he's in the game just as, just as much as we are. You know, he's a winner. That's how I describe him. Understand? Let's go, way! Coach Webster, he brings a ton of, uh, you know, baseball knowledge and um, something that, you know, uh, he, 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 uh, Coach Webster is tremendously respected in the community, um, in the Lubbock community, but more than that, for our, he's tremendously respected in the, uh, in the baseball, high school baseball community in the state. Come on, let's go. You know, you start playing the game at a young age and, and you, you fall in love with it and you fall in love with the, with the people around the game and involved in the game. What's he at right now? All right. And so he knows people that we don't know. He's been here longer than we have, than I have. And so he knows coaches at so-and-so uh, so -so high school, uh, and he'll say, this is the guy you want to talk to. Talk to the head guy. Or this guy, no, this is the assistant. I know the assistant. Talk to him about a player, about something, or a player in their league. So he's been huge for us as far as that background information on high school baseball in the state of Texas. Yes, both at five. You've got good people that, even though you come from different backgrounds and different parts of, of the nation, the, the same goal is, is what binds everybody together. And certainly that's winning and, and um, getting after other teams and, and doing the deal the right way. He's just a great character guy. He has tremendous respect. People that know him respect him. And, uh, you know, we ask him, he does a whole bunch of things. And uh, he's very good at it. And he's, and he's very good if, if the rule allowed him to coach. He's a tremendous coach in his own right. So she's basically. gone. Yeah. That's not sad. That's like every Probably song never ever. Had your heart broken, Jimmy. And baseball players are just, and coaches are just um, 
a lot of uh, like-minded people. So the camaraderie uh, that comes comes with that and, and that's a part of that is not only necessary, but it keeps you sane too. So he goes to the bus and he sits on the bus for the rest of the game and then comes out in game three. I'm sure it's just like, you know, we all come from different backgrounds and different areas. And it's funny, the stories are almost, any, any story that we could tell of, would be the same. The names are just different because it's baseball guys on a bus, it's baseball guys in a dugout, it's baseball guys in a hotel room, it's baseball guys, you know, eating dinner, but it's the same. You just, you're changing the names to protect the innocent, but it's, it's all, they're all the same stories, just fill in the blanks with different names.